Hello everyone and welcome to morning coffee break. I hope everybody's doing good today. I'm a little sore. Um, I went out and picked up all the branches and stuff that fell over the winter. Oh my gosh. I left little piece, you know, like something that's less than the size of a pencil, let's say. It, the mower will just roll, you know, it'll mow right over that. But anything bigger than that, I had to pick up. I don't know, it took a long time. And walking back and forth, back and forth. Uh, some big limbs fell that were real he heavy. Uh, thank God they broke into pieces. You know, when they obviously when they hit the ground, they broke. Because um, they would have been too heavy to drag down there. Uh, there was one I there was one that I couldn't uh, get that was uh, it was about four foot long, but it was pretty big around. It was too heavy to to drag. I may have to get uh, my uh, wheelbarrow or something. You know, my wheelbarrow's got a flat on it, but I could probably fix that. Um, anyway, it's time to get the yard with the yard in shape, and it takes a while. Uh, I changed the oil in the push mower the other day and now I got all the branches except for the small ones uh, picked up and um, now today I need to change the oil in the riding mower and put that trickle uh, battery charger just a trickle charger just charge it real slow I need to put that on there because we're going to try to mow I think we're going to have to mow su uh, Sunday and we don't like to do that but um according to the weather you know uh, it, it is bad it needs mowed and everybody's mowed around us so it, it makes it stand out a little bit more you know this neighborhood they really uh, you've seen how you know they're very nice houses and they keep their stuff really landscaped and stuff like that most of them have someone come in and do all the work in the yard you know they, they don't do anything anymore uh, some of them I've never They've always had someone come and cut theirs. But some of them over the years, they used to cut theirs, and then later on they ended up you know, having someone do it. Uh, that gets to be really expensive. Mm, uh, I might have considered it this year if we hadn't have lost. Well, not lost, but, you know, Joy started on Medicare, so we have to pay that premium of $175, bucks, 174 dollars But, um, you know, so that kind of hurts the budget um and it's they, they charge a lot to mow a big yard like this too so it would just be really high for a month you know they'd probably mow it four times a month i, I would imagine every week um anyway just thinking out loud i guess um but i once i get in a little bit better shape you know uh, the, even though the walking that I did just wasn't enough, I can tell right now uh, I'm going to have trouble. And I've also got to place one of those like calluses on the bottom of my right foot that it really hurts after walking so much. Um, but I'll get used, I mean, I won't get used to that, but I'll get used to it more, you know, when I get in a little bit better shape. I'm going to have to take a lot of breaks the day we mow. And that, you know, that's kind of what I did last year anyway. I've got some uh, Power Aids, not Gatorade, but Power Aids are pretty much the same thing. Um, and I always drank, you know, something like that while mowing and afterwards. Well, no, I take that back. I have water with me when I'm mowing. And then afterwards, I drink the uh, either Gatorade or um, Power Aid. And it helps. Uh, anyway, today's Saturday, March 23rd. Uh, currently, it's 50 degrees. High today's 52. 60% um, chance of rain today. Um, winds are at 7 mile per hour. Okay, today, I, I think everything's okay for this. Um, Logan wanted to do a, uh, it's a, one of, he's going to call it Logan Show and Tell, and it's Katy Perry collectible items. He wants to show some more of his uh, collectible items that he has of Katy Perry. And that, that's great. I'm glad he's, you know, 
doing doing something else. He's got, let me tell you, he's got all kinds of stuff that's neat. Collectible stuff. He sure does. Uh, not just, I mean, of Katy Perry, of, of other things, too. Um, but, yeah. So, he might start, you know, I'll, I would encourage him to do so, you know. Uh, he does a great job with Logan's Awesome Snack Reviews, and, you know, he I could already tell the other one we did, he'd do a great job on something like this, too. So, I'm all supportive of it. Okay, uh, let's, uh, uh, what's for dinner? Um... I'm going through these freezers, and you know it kind of makes me mad when I we buy something and then we don't eat it before it gets freezer burnt. You know, uh, that's what would help. Like I said, is to have an inventory, a running inventory, and uh, it'll be easier for me to make one because I've got this one over here. Uh, it's only got about that much of it. You know, the rest it's got this much empty. And just this much in it, you know, with stuff in it. So I'm doing good. I want to get that. And I think it's manageable now to just take everything out of it um, and put over here on the table uh, to clean it. I mean, to get the ice off the sides and stuff. So, so I'll probably be doing that soon. I'm trying to get things, you know, I've got like a mental list of stuff. And I, lots of it, I'd never get around to it that way. So I need to start writing more down. And when I think of something that needs done, uh, write it down. I write lots of other stuff down, but I need to write, you know, things that need done. So I can check them off, you know, when I'm done doing it. But today, um, I found some uh, chicken, some chicken tender. Uh, I mean, not chicken tenders, chicken breast, boneless chicken breast. And I thought that uh, there was some boneless chicken breast. There was two other packs in there, and I thought they were chicken. But it turned out they were um, pork chops, and they were from uh, September. September of 22. So, uh, you know, usually I'll write on them with a Sharpie. And what happened was I put them in with a bunch of chicken, and then I kept getting the chicken was on top. I kept getting chicken out, chicken out, and then I got down to one pack of chicken, and I, th I thought, well, I'm, I better use these others, and they were, they they were, you know, I didn't trust them to be any good. They they probably would taste like cardboard or something, you know, for being in there that long. You know how something freezer burnt tastes. I can't stand that taste. Not that it would make you sick or anything. It's just the taste. You can tell, you know, I can't take anything uh, that's you know freezer burnt taste. Uh, so I'm going to put that chicken in the crock pot and I'm just going to, I've, I've got like a recipe in my head, but it's, it's probably one I have wrote down somewhere. Just, you know, the old, uh, cream of mushroom, uh, and, um, some people mix cream of mushroom and cream of chicken sometimes, uh, and that's not bad either, but cream, at least cream of mushroom and an onion soup mix and other various seasonings and just some water you know put it in mix it up real good then i'm gonna put uh, the chicken in first and then uh, we got some potatoes left just enough no there's actually more than i thought so we got plenty of potatoes i thought we were about out of those so we're going to cut up some potatoes and i got either i've got some i think i got some fresh carrots in there but even if i don't i've got some frozen uh, carrots I don't know if I still have any from my garden or not. I know I got like a frozen half a bag of like Kroger brand uh, carrots. But I'm pretty sure I still got some of the little baby carrots that we'll throw in there with it. And then I'll pour the all the stuff on top of the chicken and all the veggies. And it, that's always good. It is always good. And nice and tender. Okay, jokes, jokes. Husband. Babe, after work I had an accident. Sabrina took me to the hospital. After various tests, they said I was in a bad state with cervical dislocation, multiple facial injuries. Also, they will have to amputate my right leg. Wife. Who is Sabrina? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I would have a fit. <laughs> oh man. 
Okay. A police officer stops a young woman for speeding and asks her very nicely if he could see her license. She replied in a huff, I wish you guys would get your act together. Just yesterday you take away my license, then today you expect me to show it to you? <laughs> <laughs> thought of the day is from Carrie Fisher she's you know from Star uh, Wars uh, instant gratification takes too long okay uh, now I saw a um, uh, where was it I saw one up here um, let's see that's medicine uh, let's see. I know I've had one. Uh, here's uh, Egyptian uh, mythology or something. Okay, let me... Uh, do you have to go to it first? Well, anyway, it doesn't say go go to the thing, you know, to press something, so I'll try it. In Egyptian mythology, who was the goddess of war? Bastet, Isis, Sek Sekhmet, Hathor. Bastet, Isis, Sekhmet, ha Hathor. The only one I've ever heard of is Isis, and, I, and I've watched lots of documentaries on uh, Egypt and stuff, and the tombs. I just think the tombs are amazing. Well, that's going to have to go to it, I guess. Okay, I'm going to answer uh, Isis. Well... No, it wasn't. It was uh, Sekhmet, S-E-K-H-M-E-T, and I never heard of that before. Let me see what it says about it. Sekhmet, also spelled Sakhmet, is a, a goddess of war and the destroyer of the enemies of the sun god, Re, in Egyptian religion. Okay, so next question, missed the first, but now I know. What U.S. president was the first to visit China? Richard Nixon, Bill Clinton, John F. Kennedy, Dwight D. Eisenhower. Mm, Richard Nixon, Bill Clinton, John F. Kennedy, Dwight D. Eisenhower. I don't remember. Uh, hold on a minute. I just got something popped up here. Okay. Uh, which U.S. president was the first to visit China? Richard Nixon, Bill Clinton, John F. Kennedy, Dwight D. Eisenhower. Uh, for some reason, it seems like I remember Richard Nixon. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, and I have to scroll down to see what it's about. On February 21, 1972, President Richard Nixon arrived in China for an official trip. He was the first U.S. president to visit the People's Republic of China since it was established in 1949. Wow. Next question. In which of New York City's five boroughs is Coney Island located? Bronx, Manhattan, Queens, Brooklyn. In which borough is Coney Island? Um... I, I'm not for sure. Bronx, Manhattan, Queens, Brooklyn. I'm just going to say Manhattan. No, it's uh, Brooklyn. So I missed that one. Coney Island is an amusement and residential area in the southern part of the borough of Brooklyn, New York, U.S., fronting the Atlantic Ocean. This is formerly an island. It was known to Dutch settlers as Congen Island, Rabbit Island, which is presumably anglicized as Coney Island. <laughs> okay. So one right and two wrong. I'm, I'm learning, though. What was the temporary capital of the U.S. between 1790 and 1800? The temporary capital. New York, Charlotte, Philadelphia, Boston, I, you know, I don't remember it. temporary, temporary, 
New York, Charlotte, Philadelphia, Boston. I'm, I'm not really knowing this, I don't think. I want to say Boston. No, it's Philadelphia. Uh, after the Continental Congress met inside Philadelphia's Carpenters Hall in 1774, it reassembled the following spring inside the Pennsylvania State House where it adopted the Declaration of Independence on July 4, 1776. And then, and Philadelphia served as a temporary capital. Hmm. Missed that. I thought I knew stuff about stuff like that, but uh, we got more to learn. Larry Bird spent 13 seasons with which NBA team? Phoenix Suns, Los Angeles Lakers, San Antonio Spurs, Boston Celtics. I'm not really up on NBA that much. I did meet um, Wilt Chamberlain. Uh, I think he played for Detroit. I, I went to some kind of like it was in a huge uh, parking lot of some kind of store, and, uh, a, and a bunch of the players were there. And, and I tell you what, you realize how tall they are when you're standing beside of them. You're like, oh, whoa. Okay, Phoenix Suns, Los Angeles Lakers, San Antonio Spurs, Boston Celtics. The first thing I thought was the Celtics, so I was just going to... Yeah, that's right. Uh... Larry Bird played 13 seasons for the Boston Celtics. He averaged 24.3 points, 10 rebounds, and 6.3 assists in 897 regular season games. That is a great average for, I mean, for that many games. It's hard to believe. Wow. He was, he was really great. Two right and three wrong. Which of these is a George Orwell book? The Jungle Book, Catch-22, The Luck of Barry Lyndon, The Road to Wigan Pier. Mm. I, I just, I don't know much about book, books and authors either, really. The Jungle Book, Catch-22, The Luck of Barry Lyndon, The Road to Wigan Pier. I, I don't think he wrote that. Uh, Jungle Book. I'm, I'm, my first thought was Catch-22, but I don't even know. Answer. No, it is The Road to Wigan Pier. The Road to Wigan Pier is a book by the English writer George Orwell, first published in 1937. The first half of this work documents the sociological investigations of the bleak living conditions among the working class in Lancashire, and Yorkshire in the industrial north of England during before World War II. Okay, man. What is the smallest ocean? Atlantic, Indian, Arctic, Pacific. Hmm. Atlantic, Indian, Arctic, Pacific. I want to say um, Indian. Nope, it's the Arctic. Man, I'm really uh, missing a few today. Indian, it's a uh, Indian, no, no, it's a uh, Arctic. The Arctic Ocean is the smallest and shallowest of the world's five major oceans. It spans an area of approximately 5,430,000 square miles. That's pretty big and is known as the coldest of all the oceans. Wow. Which part of the body is the tibia? And I hope I can get this right. I don't even know much about this. Back, arm, leg, skull. Back, arm, leg, skull. I want to say it is your leg. Oh, I got one right. <laughs> <coughs> Uh, the tibia is the bigger of the two bones in your lower leg. The tibia is your shin bone. It is the second longest bone in your body, and it's an important part of your ability to stand and move. Well, I guess so. Okay, next question. It's eight altogether. Uh, which of these deserts is located in the U.S.? 
Tabernus Desert, Poland Desert, Great Salt Lake Desert, Gobi Desert. Tabernus Desert, Poland Desert, Great Salt Lake Desert, Gobi Desert. Uh, I think it's Great Salt Lake. Yep. Catching up a little. Uh, it's a Great Salt Lake, uh, the Great Salt Lake Desert, uh, colloquially referred to as the West Desert, is a large dry lake in northern Utah, United States. Okay. One more. See if I can break even. In which state was Johnny Cash born? Arkansas, Texas, Kansas, Tennessee. Arkansas, Texas, Kansas, Tennessee. I don't know. Uh, I, for some reason, I think it's uh, right here in Tennessee. Nope, it's Arkansas. Arkansas, everybody. Johnny Cash was an American country singer, songwriter. Much of Cash's music contained themes of sorrow, moral tribulation, and redemption, especially in the later stages of his career. Born to a poor cotton farmers in Kingsland, Arkansas. So, so I didn't do so great, but I learned quite a bit of stuff today. I went four right and three wrong, four and six today. That's about the, the most I've missed, I think, in a long time. Uh, but, like I say, every every one you miss is a chance to learn something. And I also want to show this real quick. Uh, Joy got uh, a couple little gifts here from uh, Amazon. And it's got a, you know, a little message from her. It says, enjoy your gift. May you have a great birthday from Crystal. Uh, it's Crystal Cesare's from uh, Crystal's Place. And she's also got Crystal's Pets and Plants. Check out her channel. But she said this, uh, this is this is cute too. Uh, it's EOS Evolution of Smooth Birthday Cake Smooth Lip Balm. So that. And then these uh, Happy Birthday Jelly Bellies. And I think it's got, you know, like a mixture of all the ones. It shows a bunch of them here on the back. Jelly Bellies are fantastic. She really is going to love these. And uh, she said to tell you that she really appreciates that, Crystal. She she uh, really likes what you sent her. So thank you very much for doing that. And uh, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this morning's coffee break and trivia time. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all of my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great day. And... As far as I know, we'll be doing uh, Katy Perry collectible items on uh, Logan's Show and Tell. So check that out, everybody. Uh, I'm really glad that he's, you know, doing some other videos for himself. Uh, uh, you know, they're fun to do. So thanks again, everybody. Hope you have a great day, and God bless.